Hello, and welcome to Jumpin' Johnny Gaming. This Resident Evil 4 remake video shows you how to get the Raider Achievement and Trophy. This is for finding all the treasures in chapters 13 to 16. At the start of the wharf area, after defeating the first batch of enemies in chapter 13, climb through the window on the building on the right, then head left and around to the turret lasers, and a red chest containing the first treasure, a pearl bangle, right next to the laser. After the wharf area, you will climb up a ladder and there will be some enemies you will face, which you can do stealth attacks. Head right and through the window and then head through the tunnels until you come across an explosive barrel. Shoot it and you can access a chest that has the second treasure, a golden lynx. In the next area from the previous treasure, head to the right section of the map. There will be enemies to clear out and you can access a red chest that has the third treasure, an elegant crown. When you enter the surveillance room, there is a silver case to the right that holds the fourth treasure, a velvet blue. On the way to free Ashley from the cell, you go through the utilities area, and when the area becomes less narrow, head to the left section before you continue on to get a silver case that holds the fifth treasure, a velvet blue. After switching the power on for the dissection area, you can access the door on the left side and go to the end and smash the cabinet for the sixth treasure, a red barrel. After getting the level 1 keycard in the dissection area, a door will open releasing a regenerator. You can kill them by trying to expose their parasites or shoot it in the legs and head to slow it down and run straight on to where it came from to get the 7th treasure, a gold ingot by smashing the glass on the left hand side. Fuck are you? In the freezer section to get the level 2 keycard, there is a door to the right that has an electronic lock. This is the assisted or standard difficulty solution. You do this by turning the Tetris-like shapes in the right order to complete the circuits. Each circuit, when you slide the slider, will turn multiple shapes, but just concentrate on the shape on the left-hand side. Turn the first and second ones twice, the third and fourth ones three times and you can access the 8th treasure, a submachine gun called the LE-5.
Towards the end of the chapter, you will need to go to the incubation room to get the level 3 keycard. And you go to the back of the room through the door and the ninth treasure, a biosensor scope, which is needed to get the key item wrench. Right at the beginning of the chapter, head to the right corner to get the tenth treasure, a crystal ore. Exit the merchant's room to the cargo depot area and step forward a bit and turn around and face the door and look up and to the right to shoot a metal container that contains the eleventh treasure. In the cargo depot area, jump down the ladder and to the left will be a dumpster that holds the 12th treasure, a gold bangle. In the next area, called Facility 2, defeat all the enemies and then head to the end of the room and look up and to the right and shoot the metal container that contains the 13th treasure, a velvet blue. After you go through the facility, you have to go through some sewage water to access the next area. In the water, go to the left corner and pick up the 14th treasure at Emerald. Smells pretty bad. You okay? Yeah. Before this would have killed me, though. After getting Ashley to turn and hold the valve for you to cross the bridge, and you enter a room with a big control board, and to the left is a case that holds the 15th treasure, an ornate necklace. Take the giant lift up to the amber room and before you activate the cutscene by clicking on the big chunk of amber, go to the top right corner, you can find the 16th treasure, a crystal ore on top of a crate next to a forklift. Down on the campsite, in the first tent you come across, go inside and there will be a red chest that holds the 17th treasure, a large gold bar.
this Resident Evil 4 remake video shows you how to get all the collectibles in Chapter 15 including Trezors, the Castellan and the Merchant Request in a good story order. After the first battle in the chapter, go around the building that's on the left hand side and just past the ladder will be a metal container for you to shoot that contains the 18th treasure, a red barrel. After the helicopter blows up a path for you to continue, climb up the ladder and then immediately look up and to the right to see a metal container that contains the 19th treasure, a blue velvet. When you get to the specimen storage area, head to this small room, you will see the 21st treasure in a red chest. It's a splendid bangle. After leaving the lab, there is a ladder that Ashley has to drop down. Look up, or do this when you are up the ladder. There is a metal container in the middle of the ceiling that holds the 22nd treasure, a velvet blue. Sorry. Like I said, we're a team. In the sanctuary area before heading to the right hand side to exit, head to the left area by ducking down and it takes you to the altar where Ashley was in the previous chapter and the 23rd treasure is on the tablet. In the room that has the merchant in the room on the left hand side, there will be a red chest containing the 24th treasure, a gold ingot. If you have collected all 24 treasures in the island section, you will unlock the raider achievement or trophy.
If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, where there are more horror game videos, also the channel has achievement and trophy guides, secrets and tips from the latest releases to classic retro games. Thanks for watching.